This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel today. And let me tell you, well, another day, another big time rumor upcoming for the Oilers. This one breaking about an hour ago on Insider Trading. A look at Eric Stahl by Ken Holland as the Oilers continue to look for that true third line center, right? That one player that's going to make us a contender over everybody else. And Eric Stahl, now the name that looks to be suited out there to fill that hole. Similar kind of to the situation we talked about earlier this year with what a Ryan Getzlaff would do for the Edmonton Oilers. But we now find ourselves talking potentially Eric Stahl with Pierre Lebrun throwing that out there. That, you know what, yeah, Eric Stahl living alone in a hotel room. That's his words, not mine. And uh, what's, what's the difference between one hotel room or another? And, well, Edmonton? They've got some nice hotels. They happen to have uh, hosted the entire NHL playoffs after a couple of rounds in Edmonton. Oh, yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. All those hotels were good enough for all the NHL players in the playoffs last year. So, yeah, let's just talk about that. But for the Oilers, what does it make sense? Well, first things first is Eric Stahl is not exactly on a cheap contract. That's number one if you're the Edmonton Oilers is before we could even discuss any potential trade target is simply you got to look at the dollars, the dollars, the dollars, the dollars. Obviously, the Buffalo situation, I don't think I have to beat that one down too much. I think everybody gets that one pretty fairly well. And you look at the Buffalo cap space situation, they've got about 410000 in salary cap space available. And then, well, at the end of the day as well, right, Eric Stahl sitting on a $3.25 million contract. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, oh boy. Oh boy, what's it going to take to get Zach Cassian back to Buffalo for Eric Stahl? That's, you want a reaction? There is your reaction right out of the gate, nice and early in this video. You don't have to ask too long what's Tyson thinking. Is it simply, what's it going to take to get Zach Cassian to Buffalo for Eric Stahl? Is it going to take a prospect? Is it going to take a pick? Or is it going to be a straight up one across thing because Eric Stahl's old, Buffalo sucks, and they need to build around a new identity? I don't know. I'm not the guy that's trying to figure out the Buffalo situation. I don't think I'd ever want to be that guy, quite honestly. But for six foot four, Eric Stahl, you go to what he's been doing this year. Eight points, 23 games played, and a minus 15 rating. Hmm, that kind of sounds similar to that guy in Detroit last year that we acquired, Andre Athanasiu, right? That does sound, that does sound really familiar to Athanasiu's situation in Detroit. And we all know how that turned out for the Oilers in the nine games plus playoffs. So keep that in mind at the same rate, is there's no guarantee this is going to be an absolute success should Eric Stahl find himself with the Edmonton Oilers, a guy who was with the Carolina Hurricanes for the longest time, all the way from 0304, all the way up to 1516 when he was dealt to the Rangers to play with his brother Mark after playing with his brother Jordan. And then he went to Minnesota for 1617 through 1920, and then, of course, ended up in Buffalo this season. He has 62 games of playoff experience, but almost half of that comes in a cup-winning run over top of the Edmonton Oilers way back in 0506. And you tell me, as an Oilers fan, all right, sit back, relax, especially as an Oilers fan of my generation, right? The Oilers fan that became a lifelong addict because of that 0506 run, right? Young kid looking for some kind of sport to grab him, and there go the Oilers on a historic run to the Stanley Cup Final with a Make it up as you go team, essentially. And well, what did they do? They captured the hearts of a lot of kids, a lot of people out there in the hockey world, and they made us lifelong fans. You tell me, would winning a Stanley Cup with Eric Stahl on the roster just go to kind of what the heck land, especially way back then, right? Way back then when Eric Stahl is lifting that cup, with that Carolina team, would you have predicted the next time you see the Oilers in the Stanley Cup final, the next time you see the Oilers lifting the Stanley Cup, 
Eric Stahl would be one of the guys touching that. Now, this is getting way too far ahead of myself, I know. And I'm sure some people have clicked off the video as soon as I started going there and are ragging on me for it, but I'm sorry. Like, you, you got to be open to discussing things. You don't talk about acquiring a guy of Eric Stahl's caliber just to not talk about the best-case scenario, right? So... Best case scenario, you're asking yourself, what the heck? I would have never predicted this back in 05, 06. But at the same rate, right? You think of um, everything that could happen with the Andres Athanasiu type situation instead. And you have to hope at best for a happy medium in between those two. And I think we'd be very happy Oilers fans, quite honestly. So that's Eric Stahl kind of in a nutshell, everything I'm thinking. But you get back to it, right? Zach Kazian, he's skating today. He's getting back to it. What would it take to get Zach Kazian to Buffalo again for a guy like Eric Stahl, who's on an expiring deal, 3.25 million, right? Dollars in, dollars out, equal to B, and away you go. That could be very interesting for the Oilers, that's for sure. But remember, Kazian's currently on the LTIR, so I don't know how much that actually solves for the Oilers realistically, even, even though technically I guess they would have the money because of uh, not being all the way into the LTIR territory once they figure out what they're doing with the taxi squad and all that because right now the taxi squad Theodore Lenstrom he gets activated but we're currently sitting on seven defensemen at the NHL level as well you could easily move Evan Bouchard back to the taxi squad and there's your money for Eric Stahl essentially so I don't know there's a couple of things you could do here that would allow the Oilers to uh, get the job done, that's for sure. Right injured reserve, you've got Legison on there, you've got Staylock on there. Uh, there. There's a lot of ways. I'm I'm not even going to pretend like I have a clue how to move the money around at this point anymore because I honestly don't, right? There is no perfect way to move the money around and the Oilers have continued to do it well enough this season to get by. So, end of the day, I don't know what it would cost to move the money around. Zach Kowsian for Eric Stahl is kind of where I sit on it because that makes sense. Dollars in, dollars out, and away you go. But does it all work out on the Oilers' end? I'm not 100% sure, although an upgrade on third line center wouldn't be such a bad thing for the Oilers. We talked about Ryan Getzloff, so why not go to another public enemy from back in the day and go talk Eric Stahl? I guess that's kind of been the MO for me this year so far. That's fine and dandy. But as I said, mentioned by Pierre Lebrun on Insider Trading this afternoon as they're discussing everything going on with the Buffalo Sabres and guys being available. And this is a name, according to Pierre Lebrun of TSN, that Ken Holland has uttered within the general manager's office of the Edmonton Oilers hockey team. So, hey, you know what? There you go. You want a reason why I'm talking about it? I'm talking about it right there. So, Eric Stahl, I mean, other than that, right? Yeah, sure, I guess a guy of his caliber, he'd be an upgrade to a good degree on somebody like Kyle Turris, who even Kyle Turris this season has kind of flopped and done not much of anything and is only making 1.65, so you could move him and Chase on, I guess, realistically. But you look at um, Eric Stahl, right, versus Kyle Turris. Kyle Turris, a minus 11, four points, 21 games played. So half the points, better plus minus 21 games instead of 23. So make of that what you will for the Buffalo Sabres if... Um, you're looking at maybe going Kyle Turris plus something else like a Jujar Kara or something. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities. And at this point, guys, the end of the day, what I keep learning day by day is what I think just goes out the window tomorrow because this hockey season is moving along so much faster than I could have possibly ever imagined. And it don't stop for anybody. And that's the unforgiving nature of it. I'm Tyson. This is Stolony TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am up on out of here.